Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever the fuck time it is, wherever you are, Brotherhood. And welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at another drink, doing our old usual drinks reviews. And Sean, what drink are we going to be looking at? Jonathan, we are doing this drink, by the way, I've wanted for years, because the bottle is the best looking bottle I've ever seen in my life. Indeed it is. Except for that one that looks like a bong. Next it is. <laughs> yeah, next week. Crystal Head Vodka, Jonathan. Truly magnificent. It Look is. at that bottle. Look at that bottle. Such a. It's, it's probably the same actual skull shape, yeah. size. Yeah, like, it's probably not far off. Yeah. It is a product of Canada. That's literally all it says on the bottle. Forty percent product of Canada. Seventy CL Crystal Head Vodka. So beautiful. Don't want to throw it around too much. But, uh, <laughs> Here yeah, you is. don't want to get too fizzy on that vodka and lose half of it when you yeah. open it, Sean. Uh, here we go. Shall we have a little whiff? So there's no flavours to this. Well, I say it's, no, it's not a flavoured vodka. So in theory, this should be just pure vodka. Just it should be. Burning and your nose ears off. I think it's probably worth mentioning this is the only pure drink that we've done, isn't it, John? I don't think we've actually done a pure of anything. No pure vodka, no pure gin. No, oh, did we? No. No, nothing. We haven't done anything that's not a flavour. Not as a review, no. No, obviously we drank <laughs> no. normal drinks in our lifetime, but um... no, I meant um, when we did the uh, the the fabled gin and tonic video. That oh, gin yes. is technically a pure gin, but apart from that, we are far from pure, my friend. So agreed. I'm gonna pour a little bit out into my little glass. Not much for smell on that. No, it smells quite fresh and clean actually. Yeah, yeah. Got there's, the... there's not a burn, is oh. there? No. Not at all. You do have the, uh, obviously, the obvious vodka scent to it, but um, mm. other than that... I think I can smell the ice more than I can smell this vodka in this glass, to be honest. So, so shall, of course, we, shall we have a little swig straight? Oh, well, yeah, you can't wait for this one. <laughs> yay! Ching, ching, brotherhood. Ching, ching. Oh, wrong one. There we go. For a straight-ass vodka, that ain't bad, mate. No, not bad at all. Now I can taste. So at first, what I can taste, I don't know if you agree with me or not, but very floral, like a nice pu perfumous, if that's a correct word. Perfumey. Um, we yes. don't need words to hold us down, Sean. It's fine. We'll make our own no. share. We've done it before. Yeah. We'll do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to make up a word. Perfumous. It's uh, very floral. And then after about five seconds, then you've got that the distinct vodka flavor in the back i oh, found the second flavor but uh, what about you yeah much the same mate much the same it's almost like it's like drinking a bowl of potpourri or something like that at first you get mm. that whiff it's like like you say it is very floral and then as i say it's there's no harshness that you normally get with no vodka. like thinking back to like our rough teenage years of drinking cheap ass vodka straight to get pissed mm. yeah that that shit was rough and it burns and it's very harsh and you know you're drinking straight vodka whereas that was pretty smooth the taste yeah i agree it's not that pleasant on an aftertaste that like second taste kind of bodes well for when we mix this yeah i mean it, i agree it is smooth very smooth uh vodka there very warm in in the neck muscles <laughs> as you would expect fire <laughs> yeah Feels like my neck has gonorrhea. Um, <laughs> obviously, but it's, it is a vodka. It's gonna burn you. Yeah. Whatever you, whatever you see. There's no flavour to it, so it's only gonna be pleasant. It's not gonna be nice to drink straight, but not bad. Shall we give it a mix? Indeed, we are, Jonathan. What are you mixing it with today? Old oh, reliable is back. The Schweppes lemonade. Sponsored. However, the opportunity <laughs> is there, Schweppes. Lemonade. Or Asda. Get in contact, guys. Specifically the diet lemonade from Asda. <laughs> yeah. It's not half as nice as Schweppes, but uh, it'll do for this. As expected, it does smell like lemon. It does. Yeah. With a hint of vodka. My favourite. Shall Very we nice. ching ching? Let's give it a ching ching, my friend. Ching ching, brotherhood. Ching ching, everyone. What's your thoughts, my friend? Smooth. There's a flavour there, John, and I, I can't put my hand on it. Hand on it? Put my finger on it. Again, quite floral for a vodka. Quite... Yeah, put your finger on it, Jonathan. No, no I can't either. I, I no. know exactly what you mean, though. There is, there's like, as you say, it's like a faintly floral kind of taste to it at the beginning, isn't it? It quickly goes, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. But that first initial sip, you do get it. Um, but I can't really put my, my 
Like I said, I, can't, I also can't put my finger on what that flavour is. Okay, it's not bad. It does add up. And, it, and like you say, very smooth. Very smooth, mm. this drink. As straight vodkas go, nice and smooth. Let's get right into it, Jonathan. Uh, what do you think on... What do we score, John? <laughs> <laughs> we did this literally last week, Sean. <laughs> Normally, Sean, what happens is, is I ask you, as this is your bottle, how much did this delightful beverage cost you? Jonathan, I have no idea. I actually Excellent. don't. <laughs> well, Jonathan, this delightful beverage right here costs around about the £40 mark for a normal, you know, for a normal vodka. Quite expensive. But this ain't just no normal vodka, Jonathan. It's vodka in this fucking bottle. Like you just said, it... You know, it tastes premium versus, you know, your £20 vodkas, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. There, there's there's no harshness with this. It's very smooth to drink, like we just mentioned. And it is a completely different ball game to kind of anything, like you say, sort of below 30 quid in effect, really, isn't it? It's very smooth. Yeah, do I think I would buy it at 40 quid? Probably not. There's no, there's no real showstopper to it. It's no. nice. It's smooth. But is it worth 40 quid? Not in my eyes. What about you, mate? No. Well, John, the reason I do have this is not because of the vodka inside. It's literally because of the bottle. And that is definitely the marketing strategy. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather buy a bottle of Ciroc, as stated in our last video, if you want to watch it, above, somewhere above me. But, yeah, it's, the vodka inside, I don't think, is worth £40. Although premium in taste and smoothness, uh, I don't believe, you know, I'd, I'd rather spend... Fifteen pound on a bottle of vodka and just drink that. But. Yeah. Or, as you said, spend a bit more, get a nicer drink, but get some nice flavours and all of that mm -hmm. jazz going on in there as well. I just think forty quid yeah. is a little bit expensive. In terms of taste, I think we've covered it off, really, mate, haven't we? It's it's very yep. smooth, not harsh at all. There is a weird kind of floral taste to it, which neither of us can put our finger on what that taste is exactly. But that soon does disappear, and it is just smooth from there on out. Longevity, I think due to the smoothness, I think you could drink a few of these. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, it's been a while since I've drank a vodka without a flavouring. But yeah. back in the day, I could drink a lot of straight flavoured vodkas. Um, so I could probably go, you know, go quite a while with this one. Back it's in the day, mate, we would probably drink Smart Price Vodka, which is basically Pink Stripper. So, you know, this, <laughs> is, this yeah. is actually like purest purest gold in in uh, in comparison to that shit we used to drink so um yeah that was a long time ago now but yeah like i said i think you could drink a few i think you could drink a few of these would you like to change it up a little bit and get a bit of extra flavor in there i probably would what are you thinking mate for a score on this one jonathan score wise it's difficult because we're so used to drinking these flavored drinks and this is the first time we've ever drank a normal flavored uh anything so i'm gonna go for a vodka for a vodka i'm going to go a 7.8 i think that's fair mate i think that's a fair score yeah what about you john i am much along the same sort of lines so i was gonna score it 7.5 okay. i think maybe we need to broaden our horizons and try some more of these premium -y straight vodkas potentially so we can see a direct comparison to see what it's like but the reason I kind of put it 7.5 around a bit higher, I'd like say, is that kind of that taste that we can't really distinguish and the price, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Um, there's ways it could be improved. It's very smooth, very nice to drink, but there are ways it could be improved. So 7.5, I think it's fair. So Sean, over there in Maths Corner, <laughs> what is the overall score for this one, my friend? Okay, Jonathan, I'm going to think. I'll think for you as well. Thank you, Jonathan. If I if I do this, I might pass the score through to you. It is a seven point six five, baby. Yeah. Woo. Woo. You're getting bloody good at this maths, you are, mate. Yeah. Well, it, it, I had about a minute and a half to think about it. So, <laughs> so there we have it, folks. The Crystal Skull Vodka scores an overall score from us, the Beard Bros, of seven point six five. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you could like the video, that would be very much appreciated, as always. And if you like it, give us a subscribe. Give us a subscribe down below. Click that bell to get those notifications when we upload all of our new videos. 
and maybe leave a comment down below of some new straight vodkas for us to try. You know, some of the best ones that you tried up there. You never know. We might try them on a future episode. Who's to say? And that's all she wrote for today, folks. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ciao.